Welcome to my kitchen, my name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really quick and easy strawberry shortcake. This is perfect for this time of year. I know some of you guys love to pick strawberries. Um, I just go to the grocery store to get mine, but however way you get them is great. So first of all, I wanna tell you about what I've done before the video. So I went ahead and pre-baked our cake because it does take a little bit of time. So I made this cake in Pampered Chef's beautiful fluted cake pan. If you don't have this cake pan or any of the um, cake pans that we sell, you are missing out. These are amazing. They have a wonderful nonstick coating on the inside that makes um, an easy release when you're done baking. So this is our fluted cake pan and um, the cake mix that I use, because you can cheat, you don't have to make everything from scratch. <clears throat> I use the Trader Joe's um, Vanilla Cake Mix. I love this cake mix. I usually don't make it in a fluted pan. I've made the little mini bunt pan um, cakes and I've also made this in like a sheet cake. So you can do this however way that you like. Um, and you can mix your cake mix right here in our batter mixer and dispenser. So if you haven't seen this yet, let me just give you a little quick um, overview of what this does. So this is pretty cool. This is like your, your, um, your beater. Whoops, and I unscrewed it when I did that. This is like the beater that you would use on your mixer, but it all goes inside the same place. So if we were making this, um, you would just add your cake mix. The um, This one used milk, eggs, and melted butter, so you know it's gonna taste really good. It's not your traditional just eggs, oil, and water. And you put all the ingredients in here, and you're gonna attach this um, lid and lock it, and then you've got this pump. You just pump, 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 and mix all of the cake mix together. When you're... Um, ready to um, press it out. You actually have three different options. You can choose three different circle sizes if you were doing mini muffins, um, regular muffins or cupcakes, or even if you were going to do pancakes, you can choose the size that you want, and this just adjusts on the side right there. But when you're ready to dispense it, you actually put this little rubber cover right over this and set this in at an angle so that you don't trap air. Give it another um, <clears throat> twist to lock it, and then you're going to take this cover off the bottom, and obviously since there's not any mixture in here, it's not going to do exactly the same, but you just give it a quick pump, and it perfectly dispenses exactly how much that you um, have chosen based on the size dot on the side. So for the cake mix, you can just pour it right into your cake pan. So we use the Trader Joe's vanilla cake mix, um, mix it in the batter mixer and dispenser, and you're going to bake it according to the package directions. So let's go ahead and get our cake ready. We're going to slice this, and I'm going to use our crinkle cutter. You may not think about using a crinkle cutter to slice a cake. You might think just to use it for vegetables or cheese, but you can use it for a variety of different things. So first, I'm going to just go around and slice our cake. And we're going to serve this on our new stoneware entertaining chip and dip tray. We're going to take the little dip bowl out. You can actually purchase our large platter by itself, or you can get it with the little dip bowl. So I'm going to just finish slicing this almost all the way around. All right. <clears throat> we'll set this aside, and I'm going to grab our chip and dip tray. So I actually have two dip bowls in here because we're going to use these for both of them. Um, but I love this. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see how this works because it is beautiful. So you can use it with or without this dip bowl. It's gray stone on the top with a little edge of the sandstone color, and then it's sandstone on the bottom. If you're familiar with our stoneware already, then I know that you already love baking in them and how they bake. These are gonna bake exactly the same as all of our other stoneware, but because it has this glaze on the entire product, you can put it in the dishwasher. So I love that little perk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab these. I made this yesterday, so um, I loosened the cake from the bottom of the, um, the white plate that you see the cake on here. And so when it sits a little while, it may stick, so you want to loosen that before you slice it, <clears throat> and it makes it easy for you to do. I have one little broken piece. I'm going to leave that one in there. So we're just going to make a quick layer around the edge. If you want to double up or do a little bit more, you can. Um, I do have more cake left, but for now, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to set that aside and then kind of show you guys um, what we have going here. And you can just put that kind of like in a little pinwheel. I don't want to drop my platter there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually get our strawberries ready to go. So I went ahead and rinsed our strawberries in our Easy Read um, measuring colander. So let me zoom in so you guys can see this. 
I'm not sure if the video will show, but there are some measurement markings right here on the inside. So if you are measuring your fruit, um, <clears throat> a great example is if you're making blueberry muffins. You measure out your cup of blueberries, rinse them in the sink, and then hook this on that divider in between your two sinks so that it drains into the sink. Um, I have this in our little silicone prep bowl. So that's where we're gonna actually put the strawberries after we slice them. But the first step that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and remove the stems. So I'm gonna take our core and more. One side has a coring in and the other side has a melon baller. So we're gonna use the coring side and I'm just gonna remove these stems. It's really quick, really easy to do. And if you are local to me and watching this live or watching the replay over the next day or so, Aldi has a really great deal on strawberries. So you can get them really inexpensive. I think it was like $1.59 per pound, which is really, really good. All right, so we've got all of our strawberries stems off. We're gonna use our quick slice to slice these strawberries. So <clears throat> let me zoom in so you guys can see this. We're gonna take our quick slice and we're just gonna place the strawberries right here on this little platter. These are some big ones, so I'm gonna do these big ones and then I'll put the smaller ones on there. And all you're gonna do is line this up and press straight down and you're gonna see how it slices all of those strawberries. I'm gonna transfer them to our silicone prep bowl and we're gonna do this again. And I did not use the full pound. Um, I did just a little bit more than a cup. You could do more if you need more. Add these in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. So I've got a little prep bowl here with some powdered sugar. I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar in here. And then I'll give this just a quick toss. And we'll let this sit for a few minutes. And the longer this sits, um, you'll actually get kind of like a syrup from that. So we'll just let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll transfer it over into <clears throat> one of these um, dip bowls. So I'm just gonna leave this here for the moment. And then I wanna show you guys how to make whipped cream. And I'm just gonna keep this angle. Let me slide this over just a hair. Um, show you guys how to make homemade whipped cream. This is our whipped cream maker, which is a product that I love, and it's very similar to the batter mixer and dispenser. You can see the size difference here, but they work kind of similarly. This one has two um, little plates in here, and they have holes in them so that you can push air into your whipped cream. When you're done making your whipped cream, you can actually use the little no-skid gripper on the bottom as a lid to store the leftovers in the fridge. That is if you have leftovers, right? So again, we're gonna take two tablespoons of the powdered sugar, and then we're also going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'll show you guys what I'm using. I made this um, homemade vanilla extract in my Pampered Chef Quick Cooker, and so to make that, you start with a bottle of bourbon. So I just stored the vanilla in the bottle when I was finished. So a teaspoon of our homemade bourbon, bourbon vanilla extract, very easy to make. I have another video that shows you how to do that if you're interested. Then we're gonna take some heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna shake this up and we're gonna pour it just to this fill line. You may not be able to see um, from the camera, but there's a little line about halfway up. So you're gonna fill this to the line and then you're gonna take this lid, place it on the top just like this, slide this over, um, twist it on, and then you're just gonna pull this up and down. Now while I'm doing this, um, it gets a little bit noisy on the camera, so what I want you guys to do is go ahead and comment if you're watching this video live or if you are watching this as a replay, and let me know where you're watching from. So this takes about 30 seconds to make this homemade whipped cream, which is really quick in, um, when you're doing this in your kitchen, but on video time, it can, <laughs> it can feel like a long time. So we're just gonna pump, 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 and you wanna make sure that you're coming all the way up and going all the way down because you have to push that air into the whipping cream in order to thicken it up. If you've ever made whipped cream homemade with a whisk in a bowl, um, I give you all the stars because it does take a little bit of time to do that. We're gonna just pump just like this. Almost, I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's thicker and you can see it's harder for me to push it down. And so that's kind of how you're gonna know when the whipped cream is done. So check this out. Isn't that amazing? So we're gonna transfer this into our dip bowl. Like 
I said, makes a lot of noise on camera. Um, let's set this here. All right. I dropped my towel. Okay, so check this out. And let me use the other side of this so that you guys can see how nice and thick this whipped cream is. So again, if you're just now joining, let me know if you're watching live, let me know if you're watching a replay, let me know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them afterwards. This recipe is super easy, strawberry shortcake. And if you happen to be allergic to strawberries, you could of course use a different fruit. You could use raspberries, you could use blueberries, and get really creative. All right, so let's bring this back over here. And before we actually put this all together, this is our powdered sugar shaker. And of course it has powdered sugar in there. <laughs> you can also use it for cinnamon sugar or regular flour. But I'm gonna dust this really nice and pretty. And we're gonna put this bowl in here. And I chose that one because I think it's prettier to put the strawberries in the middle. I'm gonna get my hand all dirty with this, but that's all right. So you remember we put the powdered sugar in with these strawberries. It's kind of created a little bit of a syrup. And then this is ready for you guys to serve. So you have your strawberry shortcake with whipped cream on the side. So this is our chip and dip tray. You could get it with or without the dip bowl. Without it, it's just the large entertaining platter, the, I'm sorry, the large round entertaining platter because we do have some rectangles um, shapes as well. And then you can serve this with some um, just silverware and tongs if you wanted to. And you've got a really great, easy summer dessert. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.